We saw Harry Douglas yesterday, a former Falcons receiver. He was at Calvin's um, golf tournament in Detroit. And I asked him, like, what did I ask? I said, is this offense going to be better and, and fight you for your 2012 Falcons offense? And he said um, that he, you know, he said no, of course. But, he, but in asking him about Kirk Cousins specifically, he didn't sort of hesitate. He didn't blink in telling me how much better and, and uh, what he's going to do to those offense to make sure that everybody that's surrounding him is going to, you know, have the, the talent squeezed out of them as much as he can. Um, and he sort of harked on it being from a mental standpoint. So that got me thinking. Not only is Kirk probably the most, you know, Saquon changing teams and going to the Eagles, that's huge. That's huge from a leader perspective, catching, all that. But this is the biggest addition, the game-changing addition of the offseason is Kirk Cousins going to the Falcons. New offense, new OC Zach Robinson. They play a huge part, though, and what happens in Atlanta also. Robinson comes from the McVay tree, everybody. Just like Kirk's former head coach, Kevin O'Connell, who, you know, speed, 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 plays, 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 creative, 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 volume, volume, volume. I feel like those guys have a way of being the most, the, the optimal creative. They get the most out of their talent. It is a lot of pressure. This is a first time play caller we're talking about, but nice little situation he's stepping into, isn't it? A quote from Zach, guys, about his plans to make the, uh, and get the most out of Bijan on the ground, using like McCaffrey. That made headlines earlier this summer. That piqued our interest, right? And as exciting as that is, it was this revelation about a different young star that had us excited here on the Up and Adam shows. Take a listen to what he had to say about Kyle Pitts. He has so much flexibility with what he can do as even an inline blocker, and then he's split out wide, and then he's, uh, you know, he's a, a lot of versatility. So uh, he's done a great job. He's he's learning basically two different positions because there's you know some tight end and there's some receiver, and so he's uh, he's got a lot on his plate and he's handled it really well. And so uh, just excited to see him continue to get more comfortable in the system, and, and the sky's the limit for what kind of season he can have. We know the athletic ability. We know the appeal of Kyle Pitts. And beyond the quarterback play, maybe this kind of hybrid tight end receiver role is going to unlock that next level in his game. So while he did move out wide a couple of times uh, over the past few years, we saw it here and there, sort of saying this, putting your money where you're like committing to this and really working at it and learning the wide receiver position is nice. And the new scheme in Kirk Cousins, I think, unlocks a superstar level to his game um, that we, of course, saw in his college career, and we certainly saw in his rookie season where he uh, had that 1,000 yards. So it's got me super, super excited. And from a fantasy perspective, Pitts is going sixth at the tight end spot this year. Y'all are drafting the next coming weeks. This is a huge value. If this works according to plan and what they're saying is true, and, and why wouldn't it be? I think there's a real chance that we see Kyle as a top three tight end when all is said and done this year. Yeah, I'm going to call my shot on that. Top three tight end finish, even though a lot of mouths to feed there in Atlanta.